and today I'd like to take a look at Van de Graaff generators. Now this guy's been around here for years and years, in fact he's older than I am and this isn't the one I want to take a look at. I actually want to show you a small version that I made out of common materials and it can do all the things that this one can, only just smaller versions of it. So let's take a closer look. Here are the parts to make my Van de Graaff generator. There's a base which holds three C-cell batteries there is a PVC pipe which is the support for the body. The body itself is made from PVC uh, T-section. It has a small electric motor mounted in, the, in this part of it. Uh, there's going to be a rubber band that transports electrons from the lower part to the upper part. Uh, and then there's a wire which acts as a rake to grab those electrons and transport them to the globe. Our globe in this case is a soda can and that's simply going to sit on the top here. This goes on here. And to operate it, we simply attach the alligator clips. And off it goes. So. We're actually getting about, uh, about a one inch spark here, and that's equal to somewhere around 30,000 volts. This device can do all the same demonstrations that our larger one does. So let's try some experiments with it. First experiment is called Volta's Hailstorm. Uh, we're going to use Van der Graaff generator to produce a lot of electrons. And this is the hailstorm in here. It's actually little styrofoam balls that are able to move around. And when we Charge this up, and we bring this near it. This piece I like to call the bell ringer. And very simply, it's a can that has a wire coming up, and there's a string hanging down, and a little bell that's hanging on that string. And very simply, when I turn this on, uh, electrons are going to be transferred by this little bell from the one can over to the other one. But it's not going to start until I actually touch it and disrupt the charge that's on it. So, let's see what happens. Nothing? Okay. It's actually transporting electrons from this can and depositing them over on this can. And the charge is now weak enough, it's no longer uh, transporting them back and forth. If I charge it again, I have to touch it to get it started, and there it goes. So this is the bell ringer experiment. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Another popular trick for Van der Graaff generators is to put pie plates on top of it. In this case, they're not pie plates, they are cupcake plates, uh, a little bit smaller because it's a smaller generator. But when we put these on here and we turn it on, the plates become covered with electrons, and electrons repel electrons. So hopefully, when these become charged enough, they will lift off one at a time. Let's see if that happens. <laughs> that was too quick. We need to try that again. <laughs> Turn it sideways. Hopefully it'll fall this way. So there are the pie plants being lifted off because the repulsion of the electrons against other electrons. So 
Let's try something else. Static motors are always popular with Van de Graaff generators also. The electrons are going to jump from here onto this, uh, then going to be pushed off by the other electrons. They're going to come over to here, get deposited, and they're simply going to go over and capture more and simply transport them from one, uh, from one can over to the other one. So let's see if this works. And off we go. Electrons going over, depositing. So there's our static motor. The electrons are simply leaving the can, coming over, deposited on this can, and then going over and getting more. Static motor. Another popular experiment to do with Van der Graaff generators is to bring a large fluorescent tube near it, and that will excite the gases inside and it will cause it to glow. Now, this one can't do a large tube, but I have this small fluorescent tube that's out of a little camping lantern, and so if we bring it near this one, We'll have to try this in the dark and see if it works. The last experiment to do with Van der Graaff generator is probably the best one. And that's simply to have people put their hands on it and that's going to cause their hair to stand up. As the individual strands of hair get coated with electrons, they push away from each other, and that's what's causing it to stand up. Now, obviously, if I do it with this one, it's simply not, it's simply not strong enough to make my hair stand up. But I have a volunteer that perhaps it will work for her. Her name is Barbie, and if we put her on here, Well, I hope you enjoyed my Van Graaff generator and the activities that went along with it. Come back and see me again. Bye!